What's up editors? I'm about to make your workflow a hundred times faster and easier. Stay tuned. What's up guys, welcome back to another video, Dax Brulee here. We're gonna get right into it. I don't wanna waste your time with this super good time-saving trick, but I'm gonna explain it and then show you how to set it up. So I made a video about it on TikTok, but it's called a template folder. The general consensus here is that you can copy this template folder and then everything is already set up for you. So there's not a lot of organizing you have to do before you can actually begin the editing process. Everything will be set up just how you like it. So it's just a simple import button and then you can start editing. This works for any editing software and pretty much almost any workflow, even for photographers, I use this as well. Let me show you how to set it up in the computer. Okay, so step number one is you wanna find the place where you're gonna be holding your files when editing your video. For me myself, I keep it on my SSD on the hard drive and preferably you keep it on SSD. This will make your editing process a lot faster instead of using an actual mechanical hard drive. I like to keep it in the downloads folder because when I'm downloading assets online, they will instantly appear and all I have to do is drag them into the folder structure that I'm using. As you can see here, I have my template folder set up already here. I'm gonna go through it real quickly. I call it underline, underline because I don't want it really distracting me and I'm gonna change the name anyway for every individual project. If you click on it here, it has pretty much all the different cameras I have and I use for projects. USR, for example, I have my blue snowball mic, which is the microphone I'm using right here. OnePlus, which is any content shot on my phone. A Mavic for my drone. This will vary depending on the person and depending on whose template folder this is and what cameras you use. I also have a template here for a thumbnail. I do a lot of YouTube videos. So this is already set here with a 19 by 20, which is the thumbnail size for YouTube. So I can just open that if I want to start creating a thumbnail for a video. Down here, as you can see, this is the template folder for my Premiere Project Track. We're going to get into this a little bit further down the road, but note that this is pretty much the project I use for every single project, but just a copy of it. Finally, I have exports here, photo and video, pretty simple. This is where I export my stuff. Everything is super nice and organized for me. Once I'm done editing on these, by the way, I will drag them into my external hard drive for long-term storage. I have a personal one and a work one, depending on what project it is. For work here, I organize it by the month and then in the month, it's organized by project. As you can see, I put a little number before everything to show the date. So it's super well organized and everything is in order if I need to find it. And then when I click in here, you can see the same folder style here, Mavic and sounds. Obviously not all the folders in there because I deleted them. I wasn't using those cameras for that project. Okay, so let's make one here. First, we're just gonna create a new folder. Call it whatever you want. We're just gonna call this one template since we already have our actual template folder called underline. I recommend calling it underline so it doesn't distract you from clicking on the right project file because you don't wanna be clicking on your template folder, you just wanna be duplicating it. First thing I'm gonna make here is gonna be an export folder. I'm just gonna call it export here. And then in there, you can either put photo and video if you do both, or you can just leave it empty. I'm just gonna leave it empty for now. Remember, all this is gonna depend on your workflow. If you're a photographer, videographer, if you do both. Now you just wanna start adding folders for all the cameras you own and audio devices you own. Wherever you're gonna be getting media from, whether that's online graphics, I like to call my online graphics just graphics. Whether that's using a camera like Canon M50, you can call it Canon M50. Whether you're using an external microphone like a Sennheiser, which I don't even know how to spell. Add as many folders for every single piece of gear you own. So here we're just going to add a Go Pro 5 as well. As you can see here, I like to change the export folder and add a little one at the start. This will instantly bring it to the top if you sort it by name. So it's very easy to find your exports once you're all done with the project. Once you have pretty much all your cameras in here, all you need to do is make a new Premiere Pro project. So we're just gonna open Premiere Pro up. Remember, this will depend on your software. If you're using Final Cut or if you're using something like DaVinci Resolve, then you can create a new DaVinci Resolve folder. Click new project here and then name it template or whatever you want, really, you're gonna be changing this name anyway. Browse and you just want to choose a location for this. I just throw it in the general first folder here and we're just going to press select folder and you can change all these settings if you want but usually they'll come already preset and all good. Once you open that bad boy up it's time to organize this how you would like it. Depending on how people like their Premiere Pro project set up when they begin editing different people like different things. For example some people don't even like having the tools bar here so you can just kind of right click on it and click close panel and the tools will disappear and you can just use the keyboard shortcuts to access those. Also here, if I want my FX control all the way on the right, you can play with that and move it all the way over to the right. You can change the size of everything. If you wanna move things around, just right click and then just click undock panel. Then you can 
move that wherever you want. And if you click on the actual name, then you can insert it wherever you want. Let's say this is how we like it. Now I like to go into my project template. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna start creating bins. I organize these bins depending on things. So for example, sequences is gonna be one of my bins, which is gonna have preset sequences for the different projects I do. Different examples of these sequences can be a 1080 by 1920 sequence, a 4K sequence, an IGTV sequence, which is pretty much the size of a TikTok or a Instagram reel or IGTV video. I already have presets for these, but you can pretty much just come into the settings and create them how you would like. And pretty much you're just gonna wanna throw in all your sequences in here. Reason being is when you open this template file, these are all gonna be in here. So you instantly know what project you're doing. You're instantly gonna know what size sequence you're gonna need. You can just quickly click on that and start throwing in your footage. I also like to just create an adjustment layer here. I just create the biggest size adjustment layer, like 5,000 by 5,000, bigger than any of my projects. So it'll work across all projects, no matter what. Remember adjustment layer is kind of just like an invisible layer. You can throw over footage and add effects on that. Other things I like to add in here is gonna be color mats. So I'm just gonna call them color. Then you can right click here, click new item, and then come down to color mat. These are pretty much just solid colors at a certain size. So a red one here, and then I can just call it red and go through all the colors. So if I ever need like a red background, it's just there, it's ready, and I can just drag it in and make it whatever size I want. Same with all the other colors that I could add to that folder. Now I like to keep these all organized. So I'm just gonna create a bin called items because that's what I call them. And it says new item here, and they're pretty much all items. So you can just click and then shift click and grab them all, throw them into items. Now I have my items folder. I also like to create a media folder. This is where I'm gonna be importing all the media that I previously made folders for on the computer. In here, I make an assets folder and I make a shots folder. Assets are like graphics that I'm gonna be taking offline. And then also shots are gonna be the actual shots that I shot during a project. So that's the difference between those two. Shots are things shot for the project and assets are things found online that were already created pre-project. Really, you wanna organize this however you like. If you just want a general media folder and dump all your shots in here, then do whatever you like. This is just how I do it. So let's say everything here is set up. It's how I like it pretty much. I got, you know, the sequence here. I got this. Everything's correctly sized. Leave it how you want to see it when you open it. Whatever you're going to be leaving it as is how you're going to see it every single time you open this up again. Once you're done here, you're just going to come here and you're just going to want to click save as, and then you're going to want to choose the template folder, or you can just click save, same things, and replace the template folder. Now I'm going to close that. Sorry. Now I have my template folder all set up. Now we can just exit out of here. And as you can see, the template is here. Obviously I have this project here that I'm currently working on and this is my current template folder, but let me show you how it works when you have a new project to work on. Grab the folder. You can either do control C, control V, or you can just grab it and you can hold control and it'll make a copy and template copy. Now I'm going to name my project, however you want to name it, whatever you want to name it. Me, I always put the date at the start. So for example, today is the 17th and then let's say it's fundraiser for hospital. Bang. Now we go into here and we look at all the cameras and now we have to think what cameras did we use for the project? Usually your SD card is going to be plugged in here. So you're going to start dragging in footage into the proper folder. But let's say we didn't use the GoPro 5 for this project. Just delete that folder, get out of your way. There's no reason to have it. This is the whole reason why I told you guys to add as many folders for every camera you have, because it's a lot easier to delete the folders that you that you don't have media for than to actually start adding folders. There you go. We're going to drag in all our footage and then we're going to come to the Premiere Pro project and we're going to change the name. I usually call it the exact same thing as the file name. So we're going to call it 17 Fundraiser for Hospital. Bang, there you go. Now we're going to click on that. That's going to open up the Premiere Pro project and it's already set set up how we like it. Right here, everything is set up how we like it. All we have to do is come over to the media bin and then we can double click and we can come over here and select all these folders and click import folders. Obviously it's not gonna import anything because there's no shots and it Premiere Pro doesn't import folders. It only imports when there's shots in those folders. But now everything is set up and we can just start dragging in and start editing how we like it. So there you go, that's pretty much super fast way. Once I'm done editing the project, my exports are out. I send my exports off or whatever and I don't need the footage anymore. It's just for safekeeping in case I ever have to come back to it. I'm just gonna come here. I'm gonna come over to one of my external hard drives or my, in, they're technically internal, but they're hard disk drives. So they're a lot slow. Lower, we're gonna throw them into whatever month we shot that footage or did that project on. Me, I'm just gonna delete these because those are obviously not mine. Again, this is what my project folder looks like. I have a lot of different cameras I'm using. Note, if you ever wanna change your project folder, come into the one that you duplicate every time there's a new project, click on the template file, go in there and then create a new save, overwriting this save and that will pretty much change it. So if you find yourself every time you enter a new project, you're quickly changing something that you don't like very well, just go do it in the pretty much the base form that you're gonna be duplicating every time because then you don't have to make that edit every single time you duplicate the file.
So yeah, that's pretty much the whole video. That's pretty much a super good tip for any editors. Obviously, it's a little boring. It's not as fun as, oh, a new lens or a new camera. It has to be done. And this tip has saved me so much time in editing because I don't have to create a new project every time it's already there. It's already set up for me. I just have to import footage and start editing. So yeah, pretty much question of the day for you guys. What is your biggest time-saving tip? Let me know in the comments below. Help out other photographers and videographers in the comments section below. I'm sure everyone could use your knowledge that you might have. But yeah, that's pretty much the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys have a good day. Subscribe if you like these videos, like this video so other people can see it and we'll see you guys in the next one. Creators, keep creating. Peace. Bye.